guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited today to talk to you guys about something I've been wanting to talk to you guys about for a little while now because I just wanted to wanted to have a like heart to heart conversation with you guys. Um, and today's gonna be about confidence. Now, typically, I'm always speaking about skin and skincare and skincare products and reviews and things of that nature. And um, this does kind of fall in line because skin um, is definitely allows you you know it gives you confidence you know what I mean if you feel good in your skin then you, you know you feel radiant and you give off that aura of confidence so skin definitely plays a huge part into confidence so um that's what we're going to talk about today um the reason why I want to talk about confidence is because I feel like we're approaching um you know spring break we're approaching springtime we're approaching you know our bodies being in shape and uh fitting into bikinis and you know looking at other people and and you know, and their items and their clothes and whatnot, and um, I just feel like it's a really good conversation to have right now because, you know, it, n not everybody's on the same page with confidence. You know, confidence is a very personal thing. So, I just want to touch base with you guys about confidence and where I am in my confidence meter, and you know, helping you guys embrace who you are as well. So, um, just just the whole story with me. Um, so. I'm not really a very confident person, you know what I mean? I don't really classify myself as being ultra confident, I'm not cocky, I'm not like, you know, I'm not self-absorbed, I'll sit there look in the mirror every second, you know what I mean? So I'm not that kind of girl, I'm very, um, I don't know, just like a normal, normal freaking girl, I guess, I don't really know how to explain it. Um, not saying I don't have any confidence, but you know, there's days that my confidence wavers, there's days that, you know, I do suffer from acne, so acne is a, a huge blow if you're an acne sufferer. Suff Forer, excuse me. Um, it's a huge blow to your confidence and your ego sometimes. So, um, I definitely know how it feels to feel like, you know, feel like you're not attractive or feel like you're not beautiful. You know what I mean? I, I know how that feels. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that you know I'm human too, and I suffer with confidence issues as well. And I, and everybody does. You know, people try to pretend like, you know, like that's not a thing or like, oh, you know. I'm, I'm attractive, I don't deal with that, like, no, they're lying, everybody deals with that, we're human, we're imperfect, you know, by nature, so, um, I, I try to always remind myself of that, that we're imperfect, you know, and it's kind of hard now that media is always in your face, media, 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 I mean, myself, I absolutely love, you know, magazines and stuff like that, so a lot of that stuff kind of taints, you know, your perception of beauty, but we have to remember that everybody's different everybody's unique and definitely in this world now that we're embracing curls and we're embracing plus size models and we're just embracing just different understanding that there's different people people look different you know people behave differently like we have to respect and and embrace all these differences we have because that's what that's what makes us human beings, that's what makes us unique, you know, it, life would be so boring if everybody looked the same, like, you know, I can't even, you know, walk around New York City and ever imagine, like, seeing people, everybody looking the same, I feel like I'd be in some type of Twilight Zone situation, like, I feel like this is absolutely insane, so that's what I try to remind myself, like, I have to embrace how God created me, I have to understand that, you know, my parents created me, and you know, I think my mother's beautiful, I think my dad's a very handsome man, and it's like, if if I think that about my parents, how could I not feel like that about myself, you know what I mean? And I'm the type of girl that, when I walk outside, I like to look at beautiful women, I like to look at beautiful men, you know? I like to, I like, you know, to compliment people if I feel like they're attractive, because at the end of the day, like, if we're not complimenting people, like, that's, that's whack, that's messed up. If we like something that somebody's wearing, compliment them, you might, you might just make their day, you know what I mean? I know when people compliment me, especially like about my hair and I haven't done it for days, like that makes me happy. I'm like, oh shit, really? Hmm. I should feel my I'm feeling myself today. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with feeling confident. Who said that? Demi? Demi Lovato, which I love her. I've been loving her forever now. Um, you know, and that's just the truth. So I like to remind myself, like, you know, I I'm a beautiful girl, you know, I'm a beautiful girl because it starts from the inside out, you know, it's a beautiful girl because of how I think and what I'm into and how I treat others, that's huge, or how I treat others, you know, it just, that's all a reflection of who you are, you know what I'm saying, like this, 
changes all of this all of this changes you know if i have a child i might have stretch marks if i you know if i, if I have a child i gain weight you know if i have a pimple okay scars on my face like this canvas changes it will always be a a, a vision I just i'm always constantly changing i'm okay with that but i have to realize that that doesn't interfere with my beauty my beauty is how i feel my beauty comes from inside that's why i try to do yoga every day because it makes me feel strong it makes me feel good you know what i mean it makes me when i look in the mirror i like what i see you know just it gives me the building blocks to my confidence is when i do some type of physical activity um and i like yoga because i'm not a big person i don't really like to sweat i don't like to do too much so yoga <laughs> you know it makes me nice and sleepy so it's, i'm ready for bed but then it makes me feel good even in the morning and I don't know, I like how my body looks after yoga. So um, that's just what I like to do. I like to incorporate some kind of physical activity because it makes me feel good, you know? And I also like to think, like I said, like, you know, it comes from in here, man. Confidence comes from in here. Like, beauty comes from in here. There's a lot of beautiful girls that I met because that's literally what they radiate. It's not even because of how they look. They are beautiful women. I'm not saying they're ugly, but, you know, what captures me is the whole aura they give off, this aura of being genuine, being open, being honest, being um, caring, being sweet, being unique, embracing their flaws. And, you know, that's just what comes off as beauty to me. And I feel like everybody should understand, like, there's beauty in flaws. There's beauty to you being open. There's beauty to you getting to know somebody, you know? It's just, I don't know. I just, I see beauty differently. You know what I'm saying? So I just want you guys to realize that it's honestly beauty is skin deep it, it it really does come from in here you know and i have struggled with that but you know every day i do try to remind myself like you know what maybe maybe i am ugly you know what i mean maybe i am but like who cares you know if i feel good today then that's what matters and what i think overrides everything and that's what you guys should think what you guys think overrides what anybody else can tell you at the end of the day nobody is you you know, you have to get yourself up, you know, and get all through your day, whether it's work, school, whatever, you know what I mean? Any dope-ass artistic abilities like guitar or like photography or painting, like, you do that. Nobody else does that for you, so you need to embrace who you are as a person, you know? And, you know, I'm, I have a gap in my teeth, and, like, I've never... Well, I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure I would be lying if I didn't say that, you know, growing up, I didn't feel like, you know, insecure about it. But like, as I've gotten older, I've realized like, the only person that really, I think cares is me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, even growing up, I've been insecure about it a little bit, but I've never got anything about it. Nobody's ever said, oh, Zenaida, you have a gap in your teeth. Or Zenaida, you know, I think it's hideous. I've never received that in my life, like ever. So um, as I've gotten older, I'm just like, if I don't see it as an issue, then it's not an issue. If no one has came to me, but like, not, you know, right there, that's an issue. Your gap is an issue. You know, your stretch marks is an issue. If I haven't heard that, then I'm not going to tell myself that. Because for what? For what? You know, I embrace everything that I have. All my flaws, I embrace. And I totally feel you guys should do the same. If you guys have stretch marks, so do I. <laughs> you know, you may not have a gap, but I do. You know, and I know I'm not the only one. I know there's girls that have gaps there's guys that have gaps and i'm all for that gap tooth community you know what i mean so honestly embrace who you are embrace who you are and remember that it really does as cliche as it sounds confidence comes from in here that i've met so many beautiful people i'm telling you so many beautiful people and i'm not talking about appearance beautiful is being aesthetically pleased right that means from different areas it's not about this this is like i said a canvas you know i feel like john cena with all of them <laughs> but uh, this is just a canvas like i you know we we paint this us women like we paint this we put on our war paint and and our makeup and we do all this and we go out but once we take all that off we're who we are we all we have is on the inside you know what i mean it's this is not about outside you know it's not about who has the fattest ass it's not about who who has the big perky boobs like it's not about that it's not about you know being stick thin or no if you're plus size cool you know if you're a little thicker than anybody else cool and embrace that you know i embrace my gap i embrace being i'm not really like skinny but i'm not you know I'm not big either, so I embrace whatever shape I have, you know? So, I don't have the biggest booty, I don't have the biggest boobs, so it's like, I'm just cool with who I am because I'm cool with the persona I bring to the world, you know? And I've 
I always get compliments. That's what is the crazy part, is that you'll find yourself getting more compliments when you own who you are. You know, when you own who you are, other people can respect that, other people can see that, you know? I love when I run into a woman that n knows herself, and, and you can feel that, you know? You can feel that she feels really good in her own skin, and it makes you feel damn good, because honestly, you don't see that often. So, you know, I'm letting you guys know that just embrace who you are, man. Embrace who you are, and remember, it's about how you treat people, it's about how you view yourself, it's about how you uh, provide and... and, and and, and respect family members. It's about everything, you know? It's about your whole entire building blocks and your makeup to really make you into a confident person. It starts with yourself, you know? And there's a lot of haters out here, and I definitely want to address that because, uh, honestly, I don't really think people, like, you make yourself feel bad. I feel like other people tell you something and then you dwell on it and then you start making yourself feel bad. So, like, honestly, if you get shit from people, if people want to hate on you, allow people to hate on you. At the end of the day, if they're hating on you, it's be they're focusing more energy and attention on you than you are them. So just just take that as a grain of salt, man. There's going to be haters everywhere. People are not going to like you just because they're jealous of you or they're not going to like you because they have these petty reasons why not to like you. That's cool. Let people think what they want to think. But always stay confident and true to who you are. Don't ever let anybody else taint your views let them disrupt how you move like just stay true to who you are okay because i can respect that a lot of different people can respect that and you can respect yourself okay and this is coming from a girl i've seen it all to be honest with you like i've really had and my confidence has been a freaking roller coaster and i'm letting you know that for at least I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how long it's been, but honestly, I feel really good about myself. And this is a person that has a gap teeth. This is a person that has acne. I have acne scars. All this, that, and the third. But you know what? I still feel really damn good about myself. And honestly, if you're one of my subscribers or not, I want you to feel confident in who you are and what you bring to this world. Because there will only be one you. Okay, that's just real, real shit. Like, there will only be one you, and you have to leave an imprint on this world. And I don't want nobody messing up your confidence, you know? Confidence, you need that. <laughs> you need that. So I want everybody watching this video to take, you know, take away being confident, man. It starts from here, man. It really, truly does. Like, and I hate that I, it sounds so cliche, because I just don't like cliches, but, you know, I, I'm just, that's honestly how I feel about it. So I just want you guys to take from this video, I don't want to make it too long, just to stay true to who you are, okay? And embrace who you are. Embrace your flaws, okay? Like I said, I'm an open book, honestly. I, you know, I, <laughs> I pretty much talk about everything on here with you guys that I have a flaw. Why? Because other people are dealing with similar things, and I feel like if I talk about it, you know, we can all connect, and that's just, that's the beauty of the world now, that we all connecting on different platforms, so, you know, I just want to make sure to remind you guys to always be confident, just always be confident, don't let nobody uh, take away your shine, okay, and that's the whole purpose of this video, so I'm going to stop talking, I'm going to let you guys sit there and ponder what I said, and yeah, stay confident, stay beautiful, guys, and yeah, remember, you, you only live once, you're only you once, and embrace that, okay, and thank you so much for watching my video. This is a little bit more dramatic than it usually is. But um, thank you so much for watching my video, guys. And have did you guys notice, like, my cool-ass Godfather record? Yeah, I just found that in my room. Like, my brother has a whole stack of records. And there's a freaking Godfather record. Like, what? What? That's so freaking dope. Like, I can't even believe it trying to find the um, year on this i can't find it um but yeah that's why i have it back here because i just thought it was really dope my brother has a michael jackson like original record as well um in that stack actually i'm gonna do another video just to show you guys the records that i do have which is really really cool um but yeah this is the godfather one i want to show you um but yeah to make it a little less lighter anybody want to play xbox because i'm about to play xbox and yeah if you play xbox embrace that too I know I do. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I don't mean to get personal, but you know, I, I just, why not? <laughs> you know, why not? So um, yeah, I love you guys. Stay tuned for my next video. Thumbs us up and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm gonna go play COD, so yeah. And when I say COD, I mean Modern Warfare 3. 
being specific. So love you guys.